Hi, I am Revant. This is part 12 of a web services video series. In this session we will learn specifying a proxy bindings in client code. In this session we will learn how to specify proxy bindings in client code, understanding how it works with a dynamic IP address, testing the client application multiple web service dynamically. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched a part 9, part 10 and part 11 of this video series, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. Specifying bindings in client code. Advantages of specifying bindings in code is to call the web service dynamically with the IP address. And the note is created proxy classes and methods should match the IP address of the web service. Let's we understand what is this point in a moment. When we look at here, I have written the service call. I am using basic HTTP binding. Here we need to pass the web service URL to this endpoint. Once the proxy class is created, we need to call the web service through this proxy class. By creating object, I am calling the demo method in the web service. Once the response is written, I am displaying that result in label. Let's we look in action how to create web service and specify bindings in client application. Let's go to file, new, website, select a template as visual c -sharp. framework as .NET framework 4.5, select ASP.NET MT website, rename the project as web service. demo1 click on ok button once the project is created right click on the project add add new item select web services click on add button and rename this uh, hello world to demo and return the response like string demo1 let's build the solution rename the project as a web service demo2 click on ok button now right click on the project, click on add, add new item, select web services, click on add button. Rename this method, hello world method to demo and string is this is demo2. Take one more project. rename the project as proxy proxy client code click on ok button right click on the project click on add service reference before entering the url we need to run the web service this is a web service right click on the web service dot asmx click on view in browser let's copy and paste it here click on go button look at this de demo method exists click on ok button it will create the proxy once the proxy is created it uh, will generate auto generated code in the web.config so let's remove this code as it is using the bindings as basic http binding and endpoint with the address this is the address of the web service and bindings is a basic HTTP binding and the configuration and the contract so let's remove this and specify in the code right click on the project click on add and new item select web form click on add button let's drag and drop this button rename has 
demo one click on create new event handler button click event let's write break and copy this and paste this is demo 2 click on create new event now take one label now let's move to dot cs file and specifying one me method to call the service public string service call bindings is equal to like basic http binding specify the endpoint equal to new endpoint address and need to specify the url so let's call this as web service url let's copy this and paste here with service reference one dot web service so client create one object equal to new object we need to specify the bindings comma endpoint now call the method in the web service r dot demo this r dot demo will return the string value so returning this string value let's save here need to call the service call and specify the url need to specify the url demo 1 and for demo 2 we need to run the application once to get the url let's copy this paste it here once we get the response let's display in the result like label one dot text let's copy this paste it here let's save the project and build the solution run the application now let's click on demo one So we get the URL here to the endpoint. 
it calls the service reference and calls the demo method in the service web service and returns the response so demo 1 is clicked let's click on demo 2 now it calls the same service but url is changed this is demo 2 when we click on demo 1 it connects to the web service demo 1 it returns the response as demo this is demo 1 when we click on demo 2 button it connects to the this web service demo 2 and gets the response as this is demo 2 and what is the disadvantage of this making this call dynamically is we need to have the the classes and the methods in the web two web services like a web service demo 1 and the web service demo 2 should have to be same method when we change the method like a demo to demo 2 in the web service demo 2 let's build the solution and when we call the service from the client application click on demo 2 it connects to the web service it raises the exception like uh, the demo does not exist in this web service so the created proxy classes and the methods should match the IP address so the different uh, web services should have the same classes and the methods when we create the web service and call from the client application with the bindings in the client code in next tutorial we will discuss encryption and decryption in soap header web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you